and the job roles are nothing but specific to the job as i told you buyer is a role buyer is a role click on the buyer it will display the significance of this role with a description a procurement professional responsible for uh, a creating procurement related trans creating procurement related trans and in this role you will see something called role hierarchy role hierarchy and duties privileges and data security policies and what this exactly i'll explain first of all i'm explaining the duties so coming to duties an example purchase order management is a duty. purchase order management is a duty. under purchase order creating a purchase order creating a purchase order cancelling the purchase order is a privilege is a privilege okay. suppose if you ask me to compare with ebs i'll just compare like that. i have the comparison um, doc so this is the comparison between ebs to fusion okay in ebs we call responsibility menu function and each function you can configure whether it's a view function or update function okay so the role is nothing but a responsibility duty is nothing but a privilege is nothing but a function privilege is nothing but a function and data security is nothing but what kind of data you are having on that particular object either view or either which one. and um, here a duty example i'll tell you one example which you can understand this is purchase agreement administration so this is the duty see here purchase order administration is a duty. under purchase order administration what are the privileges what are the privileges what are the privileges go to the plus let's go to the purchase administration team so see here purchase order administration right so what is here importing purchase orders is a privilege under purchase order administration duty import purchase orders is a privilege and uh, cancel purchase orders is a privilege under this okay so duty consists of like how in ebs menu consists of function the similar way duty consists of the different like cancelling the purchase order importing the purchase order changing the purchase order you okay you go to your excel sheet one time please yeah. okay so duty consists of the privileges so privileges as i told you an example can and changing the purchase order importing the purchase order creating the purchase order okay these are the and what is data security data security is nothing but so create a purchase order i mean i mean uh, suppose if i go to data policy so what kind of privilege that you are having delete function or you are having update uh, privilege or uh, you are just having you are just having nothing but what kind of access you are need access write access update access, what kind of access you are but look object and what is this role hierarchy this role hierarchy but a role inherits some of the roles from another nothing but uh, being a buyer being a buyer you are going to view the pay because you are a buyer but at least you can view the invoice right you are not allowed to create invoice but you the payable so this is called as inherited this is called as inherited so this is coming from a different like payable role item inquiry it is also coming so what role hierarchy consists of the inherited roles it inherited roles are nothing but item inquiry payable inquiry they are inherited roles to the main and duties are consisting our uh, duties consists of different privilege and data security policy is nothing but what kind of data access in that particular object the view or update suppose if you if i show you an application how it and not only procurement related you can also fetch uh, the roles list really other mode i'll just show the same way how i am searching in the google in the same way you can search uh, oracle fusion financials security reference manual so security in oracle financials 20 open financials this is not the All right under this click on security reference for oracle financials so you can see the roles here okay payable roles are payable supervisor payable manager and payable specialist their job roles okay in the similar way receivables manager receivable specialist there again job and uh, cash manager is a job and gl accountant should see general accountant is a job and general accounting manager also general accounting manager is job okay so what this role consists of duties from i'll just open one needed roles from the application like in the ebs so just on read only this pretty kind of thing. yeah you 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 respond so similar kind of thing are available here yeah, good question uh, here uh, you responsibilities are not available so you view roles you have to create with the view privileges with only view salt i am going to the security console because role management and user management happens from the security console user management role management happens from the security. so the first tab is the role tab in the role tab i am fetching for key uh, roles that is buyer role and uh, always you have to use the roles that are starting with prefix called ora because they are the test role. they are the latest roles always use the role with prefix ora you are not allowed to modify the seeded roles you are not allowed to modify to modify any seeded role you have to copy from the drop down click on copy and you will see two radio these two radio buttons are nothing but just copy only top role and copy top role and i told you what is this inherited role but uh, being a buyer you are able to the item inquiry and uh, being a buyer you can view the payable invoice payable inquiry those are inherited so i would like to copy both top role and icon cop and this is just a role name and role code and role category it belongs to which model if it is procurement procurement job role if it is supply chain management supply chain job role if it is finance finance job role it's not in 
non integral mode because we are copying it we are not creating it. that's why it is not alone we can show you in the browser generally being a technical consultant you don't much work on the roles part you only need to know only uh few roles on mfy work more on because customization of the roles will be done by the not by the team. so role creation can be done in two ways one is you can create a role from the scratch like on create role otherwise as i told you an option call as i told you an option call copy you can go here and click on copy two ways copying the role and creating the role from the when you are creating the role from the sketch you can select the role category the role category as i said it's a job role or uh, it's a abstract or it's a common role or specific to the specific to the model is nothing but see financial abstract financials job role and in a similar way hcm uh, abstract role hcm job role and yeah, procurement Krishna. procurement job role yeah sorry sorry to interrupt I I'm just not clear about what exactly is the difference between abstract role and the job. I mean, I, if you can show it here in your demonstration. Uh, connected late, Ganesh. You are there from no, the no, start. No, no, no. I connected. Yeah, I connected from the start. Mm -hmm. You explained that abstract roles are either mostly the common roles. See, All abstract, abstract, abstract role is generic. Abstract role is generic. No, not okay. specific to the job. Okay. Suppose, uh, suppose, uh, suppose in your organization, in your organization, functional consultant will consult. So if you are assigning a role to all the employees, it's abstract. So for functional consultants, if you are assigning some role for technical consult, you are based on the job of them. You are assigning. Correct. Yeah. What? So when you are creating a role, you have to select. And also whether it's a common, common to all the model. If it is a common role, select. common whether it is abstract role or job role so role can be created in two ways one is by copying one is by creating so here in this tab i'm explaining copy. and uh, we generally use a prefix right so i'm using prefix client yell by year custom and then this is a practice based practice so always role code field issue per case we should not have any space and i'm also changing description and go to next so here in the role in the role you won't see duty specifically only you see only you only see prefix. let me go back to the buyer role because we are taking an example of buyer role open the buyer i am opening the buyer role in the buyer role click on in the privileges i will tell you one suppose if you assign uh, this role directly to the this role directly so what happens the user can perform all the this nothing but all the functions access that is provided all the functions example what functions what privilege see here canceling the purchase canceling the purchase changing the purchase suppose you wanted to remove any you wanted to remove any privilege from what you can do is just suppose let us take i would like to remove approved supplier list creation by the by the select that privilege and delete, delete it 